Oh, dude. Aggressive fish. You see those two? Yes, we do this. Dude, that big. <laughs> That's a big one, Alex. You got it. Alex, Don't yeah, get the on. hooks. Good morning, guys. We are back out here again. We all got that trout fever. Trying to get on that 30 inch lunker trout. Yeah, so we're back out here. We're going to get on a little top water morning action. And then hopefully catch some more throughout the day. So yesterday when we were here, there was a little bit of wind. It was coming out of the northeast. And when you're working your top water, you want it to be as slick as possible. You want the fi those fish. Oh, I already got waked on. You want those fish to really notice it. And uh, when it's slick, you're really able to work it better. You're able to see your lure better, work it better. When it's um, rough and there's a lot of uh, wake in the water, it does not work as well. So Ryan and Alec are back there. And the way this whole cove works is you can walk up on this trail and then just any little mangrove cutout you can find, you can walk down. So that's what I'm trying to do because they're not getting any hits down there and yeah oh! oh my gosh that got my blood pumping right here guys that sounded like a snook thump okay guys so so far we had that one boil that big pop which it it could have been a snook or a trout i'm not quite sure but that's it and then i've had a few things that look like wake my uh top water but that's about it i don't think alec and ryan have caught anything either you know you would think there'd be a lot more fish real close to the mangrove shoreline you know especially early morning like this they're not scared they're they're not in deep water but we've never really done too well along the mangrove shoreline the only thing we have caught is a few uh slot size to just over slot size fish but that's it well this area seems to be dead so this point kind of curves around and then it just follows it a little bit north and that's kind of where we were yesterday there was a little cove you got to kind of cross so we're just going to head our way work our way towards there because there's this area just seems to be lifeless and they do tend to miss the um top water quite a bit because it's not moving in a straight line it's moving side to side i just think it's kind of a funny angle for them to kind of get you know it's not dead on they're coming from bottom up and trout especially they have really soft mouths they have those really soft mouths for them to really you know grip on and take something like this hard uh, so, uh hard plastic under is or this hard lure under is not easy for them oh alec yep that's my second one i've had right here <laughs> nothing gets your blood pumping like a top water bite guys to do gator blue i don't think so these are the things that me and ryan are filming you because we might realize this might be the only fish of the day <laughs> youtube life you gotta film it when you can oh he's putting on a show oh there goes my this lure. is actually a kind of a neat lure guys what is it called again paul Heart brown paul brown it is a soft oh. it's a soft plastic top water it's squishy so when a fish comes up and grabs it they, i think they have a better chance of actually bringing it down with them it's not good when toothy critters eat it though no. as you can see bluefish in the river oh, oh ryan's got blue up on yeah. oh. yes the target species oh I'd just be more worried about getting a treb in my finger. In hand. God, dude, this freaking freak out. As soon as you touch them, I guess I would freak out if some humanoid was touching me. If I had treb sticking out of me and someone <laughs> humanoid was touching me, I'd say yeah. Beautiful. Would you look at that? We got him on the tsunami. No, but seriously, he's still barely hooked. He just got one little Every treb time. in him. One little treb in him. Oh, pulled right there. Oh, oh, oh. got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, dude. No, it's not. Holy smokes, bro. That's the gator, boys. Dude, that was the second time he blew it up. The first time he missed. Oh my goodness. That was ferocious. Aggressive <laughs> head shakes. Aggressive. For all you guys watching at home, oh it's like, gosh. it's it's really hard to explain the situation, but these things are just so ra rare. <laughs> 
Like I'm loosening my drag even more as we do this. Dude, big. <laughs> Alec, you want to grab him? Yeah. That's a big one, Alec. Right. Wait, should we grab him or go over here? Go super light on him. I'm not going to touch your leader at all. See where he's hooked too. I think he hooked. It looked like he was hooked good. Dude, no, just no, bear no, hug him. Just, just don't lose him. <laughs> Tensions. That, that might be a 25, 26 incher. Tensions are running high. <laughs> It's a big one. It's a big one. I mean, should we try to beat him? It's a big one. I'm freaking out, and I'm not even catching it. He's like the striper, dude. I was so, I was freaking out. Dude, this thing's massive. He's on the bottom. He's going towards me. Pull him up. I'm afraid. That is, dude, we got two hooks in them. Hell yes! Yeah, Look at that yeah, thing! That freaking, it looks like a snuff, dude. Dude, it's a them. pig! Here, um. Get him good, though. You know what? I would grab his tail and then up here. Make sure your hands are wet, too. Yeah, hands are wet? You got it? Yeah, Don't yeah, get the on. hooks. And I want to get a, get a little gill action. Uh, wow. So, guys, yeah, it, it very way. important when you're dealing with trout, keep your hands wet. You can handle them for a little while, but I'm keeping them wet. I'm holding them tight. I'm gonna give Ryan the GoPro because I want to. I want you guys to see the size of this thing and why we freak out over these fish. Because this is probably me and Ryan's like 15th time wade fishing, and we've never seen one this big. Yep. That's the biggest trout I've ever seen in person. And he's got Hayden. So check this out, guys. There is the uh, top water right there in the corner of the mouth. But look at those fangs. These are not subtle fish. These are very freaking aggressive fish. You see those two fangs? That's sick. You know how, uh, here, point the camera at me. You know how we um, we tell you guys that they come up and they miss it a lot? Well, I think like Ryan said, they, they use these two fangs, they come up and they'll blow their mullet up, they'll stun it, and then they'll come back. Like this fish, he didn't eat it at first. He kind of just stunned, it looked like he stunned the top water and then he came back for it. They're a very, very, very aggressive fish. Do not, when you think of trout, don't think of these guys because they are nothing like the trout you're used to. And they're actually not trout at all. Um, these speckled sea trout, they're actually in the drum family. But what a beautiful freaking fish, yeah, man. Dude. It, it looks really like a is. spotted kingfish. So sick. How big do you think that fish is, Alec? 25, 26? Right. Guys, GoPro's about to die. We're going to release this beast. Let's see what we got. Very rare you get. Yeah, you Both don't. You don't normally there. get that a hook set like that at all. There we go. Say goodbye, Mister. Giant freaking speckled trout. Hold him. Move his head forward. And GoPro died. Oh no, it's still filming. Hell yeah. Good job, man. As you guys see, we are no longer wade fishing. I just rolled up to the house. I'm in my garage, and this right here in the core is actually. The trout that we caught yesterday, I actually went weight fishing again yesterday. You guys won't see that video until after this video is posted. This is the ending to today's video. I am actually going to do a trout catch and cook, spec speckled trout catch and cook from yesterday's video, and that'll be posted sometime this week. But today we caught that one giant. It was a tough, it was a tough pick out there. Um, those topwater strikes, guys, they're very, very aggressive, but those fish just... I don't know if it's because the lure is so hard that they just have a hard time like grasping it or if they're just angry and pissed off. But you guys saw those two fangs like I showed you on that big fish. If you look at this trout right here, you look at their mouth, you see that fang right there? I really think, I honestly think that what they do is they don't go in and just swallow their baits whole like a snook would. I think they go down, they grab a mullet, grab, well a shrimp they'll probably swallow whole, but they'll grab a mullet or any type of uh, a bait fish and they'll stun it, you know, they'll, they'll bring it down and then they'll go ahead and attack it again. And I think that's what happens with the topwater lure a lot of the time is they don't commit to it fully. So, but I had a blast guys. I caught my biggest trout. I'm still very new to wade fishing, only done it about 12 or 15 times now with Ryan and it is a blast. Um, we got it done. You know, we didn't catch a lot. <laughs> we only caught two trout, but I got my biggest one and that's all that matters. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me, please leave me a big thumbs up and look forward to that catch and cook. Very excited to cook these guys up. 
and I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video. Do you feel the